Let's open our crane PS file. There we go. And let's zoom in on this. And we're going to work on masks today. And what we're going to do first is to come here to the default foreground and make the foreground black and the background white. Okay, so once we've got that done, we're going to go to the quick edit mode, which is right under it, like that. And we'll pick our brush size here. We'll come to the brush. And let's make our brush size 9 pixels. And you can either scrub through this, or you can use the a slide here. Opacity is going to be 100% and flow will be 100%. So now with that done, we're going to just draw over our crane. And if you have a little trouble being steady on that, just hold your wrist. It's a great way of doing it. Don't worry if you'll miss a, par, a spot because we can go back and clean it up. So I'm just going to go and paint this area here like this. And I will do this crane's neck next. And I am holding my wrist. Hopefully you don't have to do that. I did go over a little bit there. It's a little tricky doing this. You have to be right on. Okay. Now as I get to the bill, I'm going to make my brush even smaller. I'll make it, uh, let's say, a 2. Oh, that might be too small. Uh, let's make it a 3. OK. So here we go on the bill. Very good. Almost done. And I'll get that little fish in the mouth, too. I'd like that to be in the picture. OK, so now I'm going to switch to having white for the foreground. And see up here where I went over a little bit? I'm just going to take off where I went over and clean that up. Oh, I cleaned it up a little too much. Well, not to fret. I'm just going to switch back to black here. And I will come here. That's much better. OK, so I've got that pretty well done, pretty well masked. Now I'm going to do the legs. Do his little knobby knees here, there. Okay, well, I went off there. I'll fix that up. There we go. Come up here. Great. Okay. Just about have it done. And I'll switch back to the white and take off these areas where I. Oops, it didn't go to the white. There we go. And I will erase these areas here that I don't want. There we go. OK, so I have my bird looking pretty good. So now I will click on the 
edit in standard mode and you see now I have a selection. Oh, I see one part that I really need to take off. Go back to white in the foreground and take that off there. It's easier if you really uh, zoom in on it. Okay, so come back here and there's my selection. So you see the part that I masked is not selected. Everything else is selected, which is just great. At this point, I can save the selection and I could say background. And if you notice, I did go to, well, let me save that. I did go to select and save selection. And that's how I did it. Okay, and when I go to the channel here, you can see background is there. So I will cancel here. Now, what I want to do here is change the background. And here's an opportunity to use some of the filters. So I'm going to come here to the filter gallery. And what I'd like you to do is play with some of these filters and see the different effects that you get. I'm not going to spend a lot of time in this tutorial going through all these filters. But for now, I'm just going to use the crosshatch. But there are other filters down here that you can use that are very, very nice. So I'm going to come back up here, crosshatch, and I will say OK, and I will deselect all, and there we have it. So if you would please um, put your name on it and save it, and you can either put it in the Dropbox or hand it in. Thanks. Goodbye.